In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create whole tables in Inventor. So what I've done over here is I've created a base part or a base view of a part with some holes in it in my IDW. And what I'm going to do is show you the three different types of ways that you can create a whole table. Before I do that, you know, you can go and just say, look, I'd like to know, create a hole or thread notes and say, what is that hole over there? And you can click on each one and it'll tell you exactly what those holes are. Now, that can get a, a bit messy because there's a lot of different annotations lying all over the place. So I'm just going to go and delete that. Let's show you a different way to do this. So with Inventor, you've got a whole table. And there's three different ways that you can create a whole table. Whole selection by selecting a whole. A whole view, selecting the, a view and it'll pick all the holes on that. Or whole features. So create a whole table that lists selector holes and all related holes. So what I'll do is, let's go to whole selection. So I select that. And first of all, it says select your view. So I select the view and then select where my origin location is going to be. So it's going to be down in the bottom left hand corner. Then I'm going to select the whole edges. And uh, so I want to just select those holes over there. I'm actually going to deselect this one. So that one, that one, and that one. So those are three different types of holes I've got in here. Right click to create, and it creates a whole table for me over there. A1, B1, C1. So hold A1, B1, C1 with the X dimension and Y dimension from your zero, 00 origin and the description of the hole over there. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to take a look at is how to create a hole from the view. So select that, select the view. And what you can see over here now, it creates a hole table from the with, with all the holes in it. Okay. So you can see over there, I'm just going to go delete this. Okay. You'll see over there that I've got all my different holes, A1, A2, B1, B2. So it's also uh, uh, sort of bunching up, you know, A1, A2. So those are the same type of hole. B1, B2 is the same type of hole, but obviously in different locations. C1 to C4, same type of hole. And then D1 and D2, same type of hole as well. The next one I'm going to take a look, I'm just going to go and delete this, this whole table, is the hole features. So select this, okay, select my view, and then select the whole edges once again. So one, two, three, maybe four. Right click create, and then it gives me a, a once again, um, it gives me the entire holes, the whole table over here, all the holes. So with this one over here, if I just selected, say for instance, this D2 over here, it would have just selected the D holes. So I'm going to right click and delete and just show that. So whole table selected feature, select the view, select the whole, right click create, and you'll see there it just tells me, well, it'll, you know, it's not going to be D1 and D2 because it was counting other holes as well in the previous uh, table, but you'll see the A1 and A2. So it goes and selects all the holes that are similar to that hole in that um, in the whole table over here. So that's just a very quick overview of how to create different whole tables with these whole selection whole view and whole features, uh, whole table type. Thank you very much for watching.